Hello, Man in Gray here with another Man in Gray book review. Today's book is 1969, The Year That Changed Everything by Rob Kirkpatrick, uh, published by Skyhorse Publishing in 2011 and then reissued in 2019. It's 321 pages. Many historians look back and point to 1968 as being one of the landmark years in 20th century history, and it's pretty obvious why. You had the murders of Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy. You had the... Uh, Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia, which toppled the uh, the uh, government there. You had a massive student protest and riots and strikes in France, which toppled the government there. Uh, you had um, a whole bunch of events. The first flight around the moon, Apollo 8, a whole bunch of events like that that turned out to be uh, historically major of major significance. But in this book, Robert Kirkpatrick argues that 1969 was just as significant as 1968. It was another landmark year. Many of the events that occurred in 1969 didn't seem to be all that significant at the time, but wound up being very important later on. Each chapter in this book sketches out a different area of uh, history in 69 that turned out to be very important. For example, um, there was a riot at a nightclub in New York City called Stonewall, and that riot, which didn't get a lot of attention at the time, really led to the beginning of the modern gay rights movement. Of course, today, uh, the Stonewall Inn is designated as a national historical monument. On the other side of the country, there was a massive oil spill off the coast of Santa Barbara, and the outrage over that led to the establishment of the first Earth Day, and that led to the modern environmental movement. In St. Louis, a teenager showed up at a hospital, a teenage hustler, showed up at a hospital with some bizarre symptoms that didn't seem to make any sense. He died soon afterwards. His tissues were preserved in a freezer, and then decades later they were tested, and it turned out this uh, teenager from St. Louis was the first American known to have died from a the AIDS virus. So 69 was the beginning of the AIDS virus, as far as we know, in the United States. In Washington, the U.S. Defense Department decided to experiment with an early computer network, which they called ARPANET, and that led directly to, later on, to the uh, Internet that we have today. And there were significant events in culture as well. Uh, in Major League Baseball, the American League decided to experiment with a designated hitter, a hitter who would bat for the pitcher. This was supposed to be a temporary experiment, but it caught on and completely changed the nature of baseball. In football, the surprise uh, upset win of the uh, New York Jets in Super Bowl number three led directly to the merger of the two football leagues, the uh, NFL and the AFL. They merged to become one giant monopoly of football, professional football, uh, and it assured that the Super Bowl would continue on uh, indefinitely as an annual major sports event. Meanwhile, in upstate New York, a outdoor music festival known as Woodstock completely changed the public's perception of what rock music was and the culture behind it. While in California, two horrific murders, uh, murder episodes, seared their way into the collective consciousness of America and remain well known today. The Charles Manson murders and the Zodiac serial killer, probably the most famous unsolved serial killing uh, in American history. It was also in 1969 that uh, Ted Kennedy seemed to be on the glide path to being nominated for president on the Democratic side in 1972 until he drove his car off a bridge near Chappaquiddick, Massachusetts, drowning his passenger, Mary Jo Kopechny. His inability to explain exactly what happened haunted him for the rest of his life and really destroyed any chance he had of becoming president. So, uh, now, however, not all the events in 69 were negative and dark, as, as I mentioned. Obviously, the biggest event, the one that everyone who was alive back then still remembers, was the Apollo 11 moon landing, a triumph of technology and a moment of great international pride, not just the United States, but for humanity, to be able to land on the moon in, this, in the spite of all the 
chaos and difficulty going on back on Earth. It was a moment in which everybody was kind of united in pride and accomplishment uh, of of being able to land on the moon. Uh, There were also some major cultural events uh, that became important as well. Uh, uh, The actor and director Dennis Hopper released a low-budget hippie movie called Easy Rider, and it became a massive surprise hit, and it really opened the door for a whole generation of young filmmakers who would dominate movies in the 70s and 80s. So, as Kirkpatrick points out in this book, there's a whole lot of events that occurred in 1969 that are remain with us today. If you weren't around back then, uh, and you're interested in what life was like in the late 1960s, this book is a good capsule summary of the, the pivotal year of 1969. The book is 1969, the year that changed everything. The author is Rob Kirkpatrick. This has been another Man in Gray book review. Thanks for watching.